Good morning, everyone. This is January 17th. This is Pastor Tim at First Summit God in Burlington, Kansas. And today, this is the 12th day of our fast. Let me read this devotional to you. Food is a source of comfort for many reflects on how much your thoughts have been overtaken with craving certain foods, missing the things you're, you're fasting from, or even how much weight you could lose. It, 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 is it often, if, it, if it were alcohol or harmful drug, would you consider yourself addicted if you were this consumed with your desire for them? For many, this fast can begin awareness of harmful place food may have in your life it can reveal an addiction pray that God the God of compassion and all comfort will become your primary source of comfort ask him to use your this experience with the suffering to remove anything in your life that has taken the Holy Spirit's place as your comforter so let me confess something to you um, I am a junk food addict I love junk food, all kinds of junk food, not, not just certain kinds of junk food. Dude, I love junk food. I remember one time, it was, it was the beginning of December, and a lady in our church um, made peanut butter cookies. And they were probably the most perfect peanut butter cookies I've ever eaten. My wife makes good peanut butter, but these, there was no burns, it was, per, I mean, I don't know if she just was, she, I don't know, but they were perfect. And I remember, okay, I, you know, they were sitting downstairs in the church, and I'm thinking, okay, as a good pastor, I need to, you know, they'll get stale, because we don't have church for a couple weeks, because the right was during, during the holidays. So I thought I was going to help, 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 help the church out. So I brought them home, and I put them on the table for my for the kids to eat and friends to come over and people that came to visit. So I'm sitting there and I'm 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 watching TV in the e evening and I went, ah, oh, there's those peanut butter cookies on the table. Okay, a normal human being may take one or two. A junk food addict takes eight with a cold glass of milk. And so I'm sitting there with eight peanut butter cookies, dipping them in milk because I love those cookies. Okay, that was good, right? Eight cookies, that's pretty extensive. Well, man, that milk was still there. I didn't finish the whole cup of milk, so I went back and got another eight cookies. So that really killed whatever I was trying to do. And so I realized that even in a fast, even during this time, that if there's any form of junk food around me, I'm going to eat it. I don't know, you know, if, if, there's, if, if I go in my office and I find some chocolate, I'm going to eat it. It's, it's, it has, junk food has a hold on me. I love junk food. And, and, and I mean, so this fast, the, the biggest thing is, has been junk food, has been the most difficult. So I'm, I'm admitting to you that I'm an addict of junk food. I mean, I love candy. And so when you really think about it, if, I, if I'm so caught up in junk food, it is really taking a toll on me. So during this fast, I've decided that I'm going to try to free myself of that candy and focus on the things of God. And that's what I've been doing. So I've been really good. But that's not a pat on my back. It's because I've been running from it. Because let me tell you, there's junk food all around me most of the time. So... So the, the passage of scripture I want you to read today is found in 2 Corinthians 1. And, and I really want you to um, read it. I want you to pay attention to what it says. And uh, 1 Corinthians um, is a very good passage of scripture. Well, the Bible is a great passage, but I want you to take time to read 1, 2 Corinthians 1. All right, let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person. Lord God, give them a great day in your name. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.